Shalom, Shalom, this is Kapaya, a.k.a. Pops out of GMS Chicago with another sit-down. Before I get started, though, like always, I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash, to the apostles and elders out of GMS, out of New York, and the elder bishops out of, uh, um, um, Connecticut, I want to send double honors because they do rule well to the elders and the bishops out of New York and the, and the elder bishops uh, out of Connecticut. They do rule well. For the brethren around the world pushing this truth on cut on filter, giving you the good, the bad, and the ugly of the prophecies and the interaction with the people on planet declaring warning as their salutations. For the hopeful elect, I hope this is edifying. For the Aquaf, the few and the true that's listening to say the chair to keep doing so, but for scorn and scoff, we reprobate two third Israelites, 17 other nations who are in the midst of Jacob's trouble, it is going to get a whole lot worse. I'm starting off with this scripture here, and I'm uh, just going to go from here. Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Okay. Two, I will trust in your how he is my refuge and my fortress. My power in him will I trust. See, in a time of trouble, the elect is going to be able to hide under the word of Yahweh Bashim Shai because it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide, shall abide under the shadow of Almighty. So what how what what is the hiding place the understanding of this word the true understanding of this word that's where the hiding place is going to be okay because plenty of people have read the scriptures but haven't came up with with the the real understanding of what it means so to them it's just blank words okay like Satan when he approached Yahweh Shai, you know, during a 40 day fast and came at him and quoted scriptures and Yahweh Shai quoted understanding. So the hiding place is the, is the word of the Lord. Okay. We go to wisdom of Solomon. And everybody ain't gonna be able to go to that place and hide. See, that's the thing. Everybody's not going to be able to go to that place and hide in that day. Wisdom of Solomon. One. And one. Wisdom of Solomon. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Think of Yahweh with a good heart which is your mind, and in simplicity of heart, seek him. You don't have to have a whole big, long laundry list of why you want to serve the Lord. If you got one, great. But hey, the fact that he laid his life down for the elect, and in return, he gave you the understanding and brought you back to him, in the last days, there's more than enough. There's more than enough. Okay? How can you not love someone that loved you when you didn't love yourself? When you were still a sinner, you how wish I did this. Verse 2, for he will be found of them that tempt him not. It's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power. You know, we talk about Penguin Boy all the time. The guy that showed up downtown and didn't have no arms. And his hands came straight out of his shoulders. Well, I saw something that even crazier today. This was a guy that had no uh, no hands and it went straight into his shoulders and he was able to 
do all kinds of things with his feet. He wasn't proficient. I mean, yeah, he drew a picture on the board. How how proficient can a picture be drawn on on the on the board on a on a chalkboard with his feet? But he was able to do it. He was able to swing a a hoe, and I, a, a hoe. I mean, a real a real garden tool, and chop up ground with it. Okay. You know, these types of things. But it was a lot harder than being able to do it, having two hands and being able to do it. It was a whole lot harder. Okay? For he would be found of them that tempt him not. So, the elect is by the mercy of Yahweh Bashim Shai that they are the elect. It has nothing to do with them. They were chosen from the foundation. And they're going to be trying to do this thing or doing this thing to the best of their ability. Knowing that they can't be perfect because if you break one of the least of the commandments, you done broke them all. And, that, and, and, and knowing that it's under the, it's under the tender mercies that David was, was seeking, that you, you're looking for salvation. Because there's nothing that you did that, as an elect that made you uh, worthy of salvation. Just chose to be that. But you don't know if you're that, so you, you deal humbly, hoping to be that. Part of the hopeful elect. Okay? And showeth himself unto such, and showeth himself unto such as do not distrust them. So how does Yahweh Shai show, show, show himself to you in this word? The Ethiopian eunuch that Philip went to. One of the coincidence that the Ethiopian eunuch was reading about Yahweh Shai at that moment when he was when he was told to go and ask, does he understand what thy readeth? And he said how can I unless a man break it down for me? So all praise is honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. That he, he started this thing with Abba Bibbins and one West. And it filtered down through the apostles and elders of the of the day. And that the hopeful electors had a chance to catch it now and be found in the in the in the right state. To be meat worthy of redemption. Period. Okay. But you gotta trust that this word is this word is real. And when you start talking about the how I shot didn't do miracles and all these kinds of things then where, where is your salvation going to come from? Because he's going to be doing supernatural things in the end times. He did a lot of supernatural things while he walked the earth. Said so much so that he couldn't even fill the, the book, couldn't hold it all. You couldn't put it all in the book. So for you people that don't believe that he did miracles, there's no salvation for you because there's no faith. He said, a prophet is not honored. I'm paraphrasing, but he said, a prophet is not honored in his own city. He didn't do many miracles when he went back to Nazareth. Because they knew him. He didn't do many, do much. Because their faith, they looked at him as an ordinary person. Okay, let me go to the next scripture, though. Uh... Jeremiah 49 and 10. Jeremiah 49 and 10. I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places. He shall not be able to hide himself. See, Yahweh Bashimah is a refuge for us. 
but Esau is made bare. There's no place for him to hide. All his wickedness is being exposed, and when his judgment comes, he's not going to be able to hide from it. His seed is spoiled, his brother and his neighbors, and he is not. The Lord has got plans for he's got plans for Esau. Ma major wreckage is going to come upon come upon him because of the iniquity that he's he's done, which he was designed to do. But there's a punishment for it in the process. Next scripture. One fourteen. See, like I said, Esau has no place to hide, but the elect. One nineteen. One fourteen. Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. So how does it, how shall he reveal himself in the word? And your and the hope is in the word. The word is true. The word is real. Okay, and I got a scripture that's going to that's going to approach that subject. The word is real, and that's where your hope is. That's where our hope is at. That's where our hope. I ain't gonna say your hope, our hope, because I'm included in this. I'm hoping to be part of the elect. I'm part of the hopeful elect. I hope to be part of the hopeful elect. I'm hoping that He's gonna have mercy upon me. Okay. We go to Deuteronomy thirty three. Twenty seven twenty eight. Deuteronomy thirty three, twenty seven, twenty eight. The eternal power is my refuge. And underneath are the everlasting arm, and he shall tr thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall say, destroy them. You see, he did a lot of it with Joshua. And we're looking for, and, and the saints are waiting on Yahweh Shah to come back. The scripture tells us to wait upon, to wait upon him. As he raises up to the prey. We're not out here advertising. You know like. Uh, who was that? I don't know if it was. It wasn't IUIC. ISUPK. At the range. Or you know. With weapons. Esau's blessing. Talking about we go get it in. And do this and do that. That ain't us. We're waiting. Some of us are ex-military and do know how to use these weapons. But that's not where our trust is at. That's, I, I can speak from personal experience. That's not where my trust is at. Handguns, I know how to operate. M16s, I know how to operate. M203 grenade launchers, I know how to operate. And the M60 machine gun, I know how to operate. But that is not where my trust is at. My trust is in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. He's going to destroy them. We're hoping to be part of it. Israel shall, Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. So this is how you know those people over there that's in, in Jerusalem now is not the people. Because see, that's supposed to be peace over there. When the true Israelites go back into that land and there's no peace over there. So Israel shall dwell in safety alone. The fountain of Jacob shall be upon the land of corn and wine. 
means there's going to be wealth flowing through there. Of course. In Isaiah, the what, 60th chapter, the Israelites are going to be in awe. It says fear, but it's going to be in awe of the amount of, of, of riches and whatnot that's being brought to them from, from around the world. Because all 17 other nations has got to go under slavery at the same time. Because they follow Babylon, America. And so they got to drink of the dreads of the cup. That's going to be passed. That's going to be passed to them from us. And it's passing now. And this is why this Edomite is so up in arms right now. Because it's passing. Also, his heaviness shall drop down dew. Also, his heavens shall drop down dew. The knowledge, the understanding, the bestowment of the download upon the Israelites, never being able to go off. This knowledge is compared to wine, it's compared to water. Do all that. And we're hoping to be a part of it. Let me go to Psalms again. Psalms. 46 and 7. Psalms 46 and 7. Yahweh of hosts is with us. The power of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Yahweh of armies is with us. The hope we elect. The power of Jacob is our refuge. That's who we're running under. That's who we're believing in. Yahweh Shah. Because the promises was given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And then bestowed upon Jacob 12 sons. Joseph and Dan is not in that number. But Ephraim and Manasseh, Joseph's two sons, are in that mix. So that's the 12. We're hoping to be part uh, uh, of that number. The 144,000. Or part of the elect. At least that. Let me go to Psalms again. Psalm 62 and 8. Trust in him at all times, ye people. Pour out your heart before him. Go and talk to Yahweh by Shemah Pray. Ask for forgiveness. Send up curses. Tell him to take this man out of, out of position and authority. Let it happen. Yahweh is a refuge for us, Selah. Power is a refuge for us. Yahweh Shah is the refuge for us. See, so for, for, I'm in the Old Testament, but for you New Testament individuals, like I said, Philip was reading about Yahweh Shah from the prophet Isaiah. So the, so, so the blood that's going to save in the last, in these latter days, is the blood of Yahweh Shah. It's not of a ram or a goat. And if you think that a ram or a goat blood is going to be more precious in the eyes of Yahweh than his son's own precious blood, Yahweh Shah, you've got a sad mistake and a hell of a fucking judgment coming to you. 
behind that, go get a nice scripture, Proverbs. 14 and 26. Proverbs 14 and 26. In the fear of Yahweh is strong confidence. In the fear of Yahweh is strong confidence. Yahweh said, Yahweh said, what, what did Yahweh uh, uh, say? If I'm your, if I'm your, uh, if I'm your, uh, was it your friend or your brother? Where is my love? And if I'm your master, where is my fear? It says here. And the fear of Yahweh is strong confidence. The fear of the, of the Lord being the destructive power that he is can also be where your confidence is at because if you fear and know that he can destroy everything then your confidence is if you're doing the work you're hoping that he's going to show you mercy knowing that whatever befalls you it was the will of Yahweh Bashem HaOshah because scriptures say who could resist his will so you got to pray that you're part of the elect and then go about to, uh, to show that that your love that you say you claim is an action because love is an action I, scripture says I, I show you uh, faith without works is dead and, and, and works without faith is dead I'll, you claim your faith you claim your faith as faith I can show you my faith by my works loosely paraphrased Matthews 11, 25, 26. At that time, Shai said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and hast revealed them unto babes. So the smart men of this planet don't understand these scriptures. That's why I said, the scripture says, with all I get and get an understanding. So that hiding place, huh? That started in the beginning, that hiding place, that refuge. What is it? It's in these scriptures. It's, but it's in the scriptures as having a real understanding of them. And not what these, these Christian and Baptists and spin off of Roman Catholic churches have been pushing in America for the past 500 years or so. It's not that. This truth has been around since the 60s. When they reached up into heaven with the, with the space programs and whatnot, when they started putting stuff up there like in the 50s with Sputnik and all this other kind of stuff in 1954, that was... That was this man's coming down, and when America chased him up there and wanted to beat him, and they absolutely lied, and now you got a Russian space station and all this other kind of garbage up there, that was the downfall of this man. Because with all that going up there, went satellites, and that was what put the, the, the pushing of this word to the four corners of the earth possible. So his technology has, uh, has been his undoing. But the technology was given him by Yahweh Bashem Shah. Because flight was documented in the pyramids. Flying machines and things of this nature. So the Wright brothers wasn't the beginning of flight. That was where the Edomite picked it up. And then jet propulsion by the Germans. And then rocket propulsion. To be able to give a glitter and arrow that can go from one end of the earth to the other. All this. And, but the Lord gave all that technology. Okay. Even so, Father, for it. 
for so it seemed good in thy eyes in thy sight. So it was good in the in the Lord's sight to get his Edomite this technology. Twenty six. Even so, Father, so for so it seemed good in thy sight. It was good for him to reveal it to the, the hopeful elect and the prophets that are here and standing a lot now to be able to break this down. And it was good for him to get all things will work for the betterment and the good because uh, uh, you can't do anything against before the kingdom. He gave him that technology and it's going to be their downfall and it's going to bring a lot of death. But that death has to happen for the kingdom of heaven to arrive here on earth. Hebrews 6 and 18. I told y'all I was going to touch a scripture about that. So let me go to the scripture and hit it and then go into it. 6 and 18. Hebrews 6 and 18. Hebrews 6 and 18. That by two, two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay to lay upon the hope set before us. So first we gotta believe that this word is real. And if it since the word is real, I ain't gonna say if, I'm gonna say since the word is real, then what he said is going to happen. And we see that that's happening. So it's impossible for him to lie. Who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us. And now we done fled into those quiet places, getting the understanding of what's real when it comes to these scriptures. I'm going to read 19. I hadn't even planned on it, but I'm going to read 19 too. Which, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which enter unto that within the veil. See, the veil back then was the was the holies of holies. But now we enter into the veil of Yahweh by Shemel Washah. That's the holy, that's the holy of holy spots now that we enter into. That's the knowledge that we enter into. The hiding places. The true understanding. When if you'd asked me that 12 years ago, I wouldn't have been able to break that down for you. So all through the power of your how about you, man, I was shy. I said double honest because of that fact. Because I didn't have this knowledge 12 years ago, 13 years ago. To this scripture here, Psalms. Seventy-one. Psalms seventy-one and seven. I am as a wanderer unto many, but thou art my strong refuge. I'm a wanderer to many. I'm not a man of renown in this planet. I'm not someone noteworthy by by America's standards. I didn't make a who's who or this or that and the other. Okay? I've never had a, a an illustrious career or honorable career or any of these things on this planet. Not me. So but being part of the hope we elect, why me? I don't know. But I'm thankful that he did give me this knowledge. Let's get to the next question. I can feel myself getting ready to 
really go into something there. Where's the Masala Fi? Where the Masala Man 5 and 2? When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. So, like I said, why me? Because the salvation that's going to come upon the hopeful elect, this is where they go, this is where their head is going to be. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they looked for. They not picturing Independence Day coming back with you, uh, uh, what they want to call, what, what was called UFOs back in the day. Now they identified flying phenomenons. IF. From identified flying IFFs or whatever it is, phenomena, I don't know. But then they, 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 you know what I said? They keep putting different acronyms on stuff, trying to keep people off of kelter. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he? So, like I said, why me? But if I'm part of the hopeful elect, like, they're going to be saying, him? Whom he had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach? Because look at the background. Some of the backgrounds of these men that they come along and wind up having this truth and this understanding. If you ran, if you ran them up against Esau standards, they're not, they not profitable men. Not on that level. Not the, not the bulk of them. You might have a couple here or there. You know, doctors, dentists, things of this nature. Professional athletes. But not for the bulk of them. I had all kinds of issues when it came to my driver's license and things like that. So, I got a sheet when it comes to driving infractions. I haven't had it now since I've been in the truth. Because of the decree. Apostle Taha put it out. Get your L's. Get them straight. Have your L's in order. And then Apostle Ricard came down here and, and spoke on it. I was able to talk to him face to face, and he was actually, the one, he told me he was the one that had, was in charge of that program up there, getting the brothers to get their L's and stuff. And as you like to say, that's my dude. <laughs> so I took that to heart. I had to put myself on a program, and they took money out of my check for years. And I looked up one day after about three or four years of them taking that money and everything that needed to be squared away was squared away and taken care of. Two, three years, four years, whatever amount of time it might have been. Okay. For we fools accounted his life madness, his end to be without honor. So when they see this happen to the men of the Lord, the people that did all this put up, put us in derision like they did, put us in, 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 in turmoil like they did, is going to be, I can't believe I did this to this dude. Because they're going to see the power that's upon this man then. Upon these men then. And understand that there's a recompense for what they've done. So now these men are going to absolutely get a chance to come back and bring it to them. Yeah. Especially if they're part of the heathen nations. Because guess what? It says, ask of me the heathen for an inheritance. So as you learn that, that's what you do. You tell the Lord, give me him. Give me this guy here. Since this guy is such an asshole and he's a heathen, I'd like to have him in the kingdom of heaven. What the scriptures say about that? A wicked man can give good gifts. A, a wicked father can give good gifts. How much more your father which in heaven? 
And he says, ask of him the heathen for an inheritance. You think that's not going to happen? Then you don't have no faith that his word is true, but he said he can't lie. See, that's why I said you people don't have a clue as to what it is that and, and how this works. You know? How would you say this in the street? My word is bond. The Lord is saying his word is bond. Five, how, how is he numbered among the children of God? How, how is the, the, these, the, these men of no noteworthy success, no noteworthy accomplishment, no noteworthy uh, 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 status in this, in this man's government or in this man's uh, uh, world, how are they counted? How is he numbered among the children of God and his lot among the saints? How? Because the Lord said that he, he chose the lowly. Six, therefore have we erred from the way of truth. And in them doing that in that day, as the scripture says, in the day of thy power, that's when they go realize that they erred in the way. They erred from the way of truth. And the light of righteousness hath not shined upon us. They didn't have this understanding. And the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. The Lord didn't have them in that in that part of the election. They didn't have that. Seven, we wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness. They 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 trimmed they lamp. The two-thirds, they trim as they lamp, following in behind us. The rest of the world, they trim as they lamp, looking for love from the love of this Edomite. So they go come up and be in destruction. We weird ourselves in a way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts where there was no way, but as for the way of Yahweh, we have not known it. So then they didn't know what they needed to do. And it wasn't for them to know. Like I said. The Matthew scripture says what? I thank thee that you didn't give this knowledge to the so-called men, men of, 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 of uh, uh, men of uh, acknowledgement on this side. You gave it to the lowly men. You didn't get his understanding to, to, to noteworthy men on this side. You gave it to men of lowliness. But these men are men are noteworthy among the election. So if you're teaching this truth 100%, you know, and your doctrine is not flawed, and you haven't had to be called out on it by GMS or anything like that, if you're teaching 100% doctrine, okay. And I hope that's edifying. Because hide and seek is not a game. It's not a kid's game. It's not a game at all. It's, it's a hide and seek as, as grown ups is a serious thing, especially when it comes to this truth. Because you hide from one thing. The raft is coming down and asking the Lord to, to shield you and you seeking the wisdom and knowledge to be able to understand it in the process. And there's no game when it comes to that. Because again, like I said, fear not the man that can destroy the body, but fear the God that can destroy the body and the soul. So with that, I hope that's edifying. I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kodash. To the apostles and elders of GMS out of New York, I want to send double honors. And uh, uh, the elder bishops out of Connecticut, double honors. Because they do rule well for the brethren around the world. 
pushing this truth uncut unfiltered, giving you the good, the bad, and the ugly of the, of the scriptures, correctly breaking down the prophecies and interaction with people and planet, declaring war on it. Again, salutations. Hope we let. Hope that's edifying. Aqua, if you're intruders, listening, sincerity, and charity, keep doing so. But for the school and the for reprobate two thirds Israelites and 17 other nations who are in the midst of Jacob's trouble, it's going to get worse. The first group are hardy shallow worm, the second group are barber ball. ball.